Details now on San Diego's plan to crack down on the ever-growing sea of scooters zipping through the city. 10 News reporter John Horn dug into the mayor's proposed new rules that rely on technology and education. The mayor's plan would use geofencing technologies to cut the top speeds of these things by about half in areas like the waterfront where a lot of people like to walk. How's the ride? Good. Yeah, really cool. Sven Vepper cool. and Charlie Hopkins headed straight for the marina on the scooters they grabbed in the heart of the gas lamp. Yeah, they're everywhere. On seemingly every corner, some upright, others toppled over like dominoes. San Diegans breaking the law by riding scooters on sidewalks or taking risks in downtown traffic. Scripps Mercy Hospital reports 30 hospitalizations from scooter-related injuries since June. They go quick. Like, I'm surprised how quick yeah. they go. Like, you know, you, you're holding on. They are quick. I'm surprised they're that fast. Mayor Kevin Falconer now proposing new rules to increase safety. His plan calls for automatically slowing speeds to a maximum 8 miles an hour at places like the Embarcadero, Balboa Park, and boardwalks along the city's beaches. Each operator would have to pay for permits and buy liability insurance, holding the city harmless. Finally, the companies would need to educate riders of local laws and traffic codes before each use. Hopkins says he already got a taste of that before he hopped on. They give you like safety advice and tips and things and like you have to certain terms and conditions, so you have to have a full driving license. The mayor says the scooters provide great options for those who want to leave their car at home, but that the new technology is creating public safety issues that need to be addressed. John Horn, 10 News. Bird, Lime and Razor released statements saying they support the mayor's plan. That plan goes before the city's Public Safety and Livable Neighborhoods Committee next Wednesday.